So one in every eight workplace injuries occurs to an employee on their first day, their very first day. And new hires are five times more likely to be hurt at work than an experienced employee. I don't know about you, but that tells me that new equipment and new people carry the highest risk in the facility. Your visitors, your contractors, your employees new to the organization. Your, the new equipment that you bring into the facility carries the most risk because people are not used to working with the equipment and newer employees haven't been in the area. They just don't understand the job, the basics of the job. Do me a favor. When it comes to orientation, when it comes to new equipment, don't just check the box. Have a management of change process where specifically with safety orientation, you're there on the first day with that employee as a leader making sure they have your, your your contact information, make sure they have resources, make sure they have somebody they can job shadow on the first day to ask any question. And number one, make sure as a leader, as a supervisor, you sit down with them and have an eye to eye, face to face conversation, setting the tone from day one. You need to look in somebody's eyes when you tell them, I'd rather, I'd rather you be at home and in a body bag for breaking one of our life critical rules, for trying to work on that piece of machinery without locking it out, from working 15 feet high without fall protection. I care about you that much. I'd rather you be at home than in the body bag. These rules mean that much. And, it, and regardless, if you got any questions, you, have, you don't got the woman fuzzies about anything in this facility, anything in this process, Come have a conversation with me. I owe you a conversation. You have stock work authority. That message needs to be sent face to face so people can not only see that you're serious, they can feel that you're serious. And then the second piece, management of change. Any piece of new equipment that comes into the facility, as a leader, you should understand the hazards tied to it. You should make sure they have procedures to shut it down. You should make sure the people working on a new piece of equipment know how to use the guards that are protecting their lives. Have a thorough evaluation of anything new, anything modified that you bring into your process because this is where you have highest risk. People don't know how to use the equipment. The equipment isn't something that, that, that regularly runs. So anything new into your process is most essential. Spend your time though. Don't just check the box. That's what it's about. If nothing else, you spending your time with the people that are at the most, that they're at the highest risk. That day that you spend with that new employee on their first day, making sure they have the appropriate resources, making sure they understand and you set the tone that you, that you mean it about safety, it will change their entire career and their entire mindset. So if you're a leader, take advantage of that opportunity. Management of change is what you have to do as a leader because the highest risks are new to the facility, the people that are new to the facility and the equipment that is brought in new without lockout tagout procedures and without a history of the potential hazards. Thank me later. Share this with somebody that needs it.